all right guys so the way how i usually like to do this is i like to look at the header and start building it from there right so i start going from the top to bottom okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a component called header so we're going to copy this because all of this is basically boilerplate right all of this stuff is something that we're going to be doing constantly every time that we create a new component so what we're going to do is we're going to just duplicate this right and then from there we're going to call this header.js okay we're going to change a couple of things here we're going to name this header all right and then that's pretty much it as far as that right so here we're going to come in and change this to header okay now on the app.js we're actually going to import that that component so we're gonna say import header from and then we say hey we're in the same folder so I'm gonna say dot header dot js okay import that and now up here we're going to say something like header like that so now we're actually displaying what we have here we're gonna say header uh, let's say header file I had a component right okay now let's look into our basically our code that we have here now let's see what we have here let's see hold on we got header import header from header let me debug this for a second okay can I read property state of no okay so one thing that we have to do is we want to pass down a couple of props right so we're gonna say something like this we're gonna say state and then pass down state and we're going to pass down actions to every single component save that Okay, so everything is working. As you can see, it says header comp, which is coming from here. So this component is already loading just fine. We're going to delete this stuff here. Okay, we're going to change a couple of things on the CSS real quick. I'm going to delete all of the stuff here. Okay, remove this background. Remove the background colors from it. Okay, there you go. So we got a blank page now. Now we can come here and start messing with it. You know, one cool thing too that if you guys haven't tried this out, um, there's this this uh how you call it this package from Adam that's pretty useful where you can right click this and Adam preview is by this guy called Sean Colts so now inside of Adam inside of a pane you have a browser so now you don't even really have to leave Adam at all so we could say local holes 3000 and there you go okay now let me see something like this okay there you go save that header comp all right now let's look at this header so we got a logo and then we have a menu and then we have like a reservation button 
so let's do that we're gonna say home pages let's just create real stuff that a restaurant website should have so we're gonna come back to the header there's the header component remember that okay and inside of here we're going to say something like this we're gonna say div class name or you can say class name which is more like a react but you could also just say class and say class uh, let's say logo okay put logo here save that when you save that this shit should refresh let me see here to comp hold on you gotta press control C here because browser link did not see this file when it first loaded so we gotta say npm run watch all right now okay there you go everything should be fine let me see logos yeah so now it's out of refreshing okay so let me see div class logo and then let's see what else we have here we have the menu so we're gonna say ul or we could say nav all right say nav and then put in anchor links in here href for now we're just gonna say hashtag so we're gonna say link uh, home all right let's look at an example of tgif what do they have on their website? Okay, let that load. Okay, menu, party, pra, um, menu, party pra, uh, platters, location, gift cards, rewards. So let's put the same thing. We're going to come in. We're going to say menu uh, platters uh, locations let's say rewards and let's say reservation reservations okay that's fine Oops. All right, so we got logo, menu, party platters, uh, location rewards, reservations. All right, and I think we had reservations was was its own button by itself. So let me see. Matter of fact, we could just leave it like that. We don't even have to separate it for this section. All right. Like I said, guys, we're getting inspired by this design, but we're not doing every single thing in the design, right? Because the type of restaurant that we're going to build is not just going to be how this person built it. Like, you know, usually when a designer comes in, they create like a prototype. There's like an idea of things that they will build, but things change in real life. Like, <laughs> you know, a designer might come in and give you something that looks amazing and looks beautiful, but in reality, technically it wouldn't work or it wouldn't serve its purpose like you know for whatever reason so that's what's going to happen with this we're going to look at this design but we're not building exactly how the design is all right so let's see what's the next thing that we want to do okay so we're going to do that header all right then let's work on the css for a little bit or maybe we should leave that for the next video. 
<laughs> what do you guys think? All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to do the CSS. I usually like to do it like this where I do HTML or just laying out whatever it is that I need to build first and then start messing with the CSS later on. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I hope that you enjoyed this video that you just saw right now. I just want to remind you that, hey, check out the description below. Make sure you click in there, man. I have a couple of links, man, that's going to save you money, save you time, and get you on your journey as a developer, man. I have the best courses here of Udemy. I also have my courses here from Udemy. But at the same time, if you want to come to my website where I'm basically releasing courses every single day, you could sign up for a subscription that is 50% off, guys. Straight up, 50% off from everything. You have the monthly subscription, $10 a month, $45 a year. One-time purchase, $150. A lot of people have been signing up. I have over 5,000, basically 5,000 people who have signed up to the website. Really enjoying the website right now, guys. Like, seriously. I'm over here breaking down topics that will be harder for a lot of people to learn and now I'm making it easier and more accessible for you guys. You know, it's a very good discount. Uh, basically, you're getting everything that you want for 10 bucks a month. Every single day, new courses, new videos are being released. We're talking about over 20 courses for $10. It's the best way to save money, guys. And it's like, it's a really good way for you guys to get your career started with very little investment all right guys so i'll see you guys later make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video and bye